Um, the next sort of trend is going to be sort of uh, sort of visual dining and constructing, customising your own food. I think that's the next thing. So there's a massive increase in terms of interest, in terms of food, and people knowing where their food comes from, and wanting to do things like masterclasses. We've done a couple of those things at Lyle's as well. We do these events called the guest series where we bring over chefs from abroad once a month um, to kind of showcase British food and British um, produce. But yeah, there's a lot more of a spotlight on the industry, I think. More, jobs. more kind of, I hope, that there's more of a kind of atmosphere of it being a serious career, you know. Between I... Uber and 24-hour public transport, mm -hmm. there will be a real reason for restaurants in London to be open until 3, 4 o'clock in the morning. And I just can't wait for my staff to be able to get home. Home, I day. know. The idea of bringing social recruitment into the industry. And I know it's not brand new, you know, I know uh, Jamie Oliver in 15, he's done it uh, before, but across our brand, um, we train people who are, whether they've been out of a job for a long time, they're unemployed, they're homeless, whatever it may be, the reason why they've been unemployed for a long period of time, or they find it difficult to find a first job. I think that's what's so great about the, the restaurant industry is how um, accepting it is and how yeah, anyone can, be, can work in the restaurant industry. You can be anyone and you can come into a restaurant and you can get a job and that's you can come from any background. You can come, yeah. I don't know if there's that many industries in the world that have that such openness and the restaurant industry is so open to all skills and all backgrounds and all educations you know. I have a, another good friend, a woman in the industry, and we were talking about how great it would be to set up a week-long residency where the entire restaurant was run, planned, cooked, served, basically every element that you could think of by a woman. And not as a feminist movement, not to say, oh, we are women, we're here to inspire another generation of, or the next generation, oh, sorry, of women to work in hospitality and say, look, these are all the jobs that you can have in restaurants. And a woman has done or is doing all of them. Um, I think talking about entering hospitality more in schools, it was something that never was mentioned to me at all when I was at school, but something that I naturally kind of fell into. I had a wait, like a part-time waitressing job. Yeah, um, inspiring and sparking that passion for, for the industry yeah. would, would be amazing. So, well, one thing I'm sure I think everyone struggles with is finding chefs and we need more chefs in this industry full stop. And as for the industry itself, I think you just touched on it actually openings outside of London. Um, we opened a restaurant last year in Manchester and that was really exciting for us, sort of seeing how the restaurant industry is evolving in, in different cities out, outside of London and the different kind of passionate foodies and uh, different communities um, around the country, sort of speaking to lots of, lots of different people. I think that's really, so, yeah. really important, that whole okay. moving outside. And, and Libby, I'm sure you're going to touch on this because you've just opened yeah. what, Cambridge and... So Cambridge, we've got a few restaurants outside of London. We've got Manchester, Cambridge, Leeds, Brighton, Birmingham. Uh, and this year we're focusing on a few other areas outside of London. Manchester just has so much more. When we got my boyfriend's from Manchester and we go up there to see his family and you just look at property there and you think, oh my god, I could do this tomorrow. Yeah. Whereas you go around London and there's just so many barriers, you know. You can't afford any of them now. Everything's closing down because they can't afford the rent. Soho's gone crazy yeah. and... I can't know, believe Arbutus is closing. Arbutus is closing and... It's finding somewhere else to go. They're not closing properly, but it's just a rent hike. So. Um, definitely, um, moving outside of London is a big trend. Um, I know D and D is um, investing outside. We're opening a third site in Leeds. Wow. So how many sites do you have in Leeds right now? Ready two. Okay. So we've got a third one in the pipeline in Glasgow. So that's definitely. That's yeah. great. Sounds like we have made a lot of progress as women and as an industry as a whole, but there's a a, a lot. Um, more to go, but I think as a, as a whole, as a group of people and as an industry, we, we can, can change the world. We can change the world, actually. Grace, that's what I was going to say. Yeah, girls. Girls. Yeah. girls. But um, thank you all so much for coming. I can't even tell you how much I appreciate taking time out of your day, your Sunday, um, to come and talk about these issues, which I think are so important, and it sounds like they're important to you as well. So I think if we can just all do our part to support each other support i think is the biggest thing we can take from this